Hi, my name is Kelly Johnson and I'm a respiratory therapist. I also work with kids who have asthma. And today I'm going to remind you and your parents about the two main types of medicines that can be used to control asthma. Controller medications are medications you have to take every single day, even if you're not having problems with your asthma. These include medications such as Cuvar, Flovent, Pomacort, Advair, and Simbacort. They are often called inhaled corticosteroids. You may have to take these medications for a long time, but don't worry. They are not addictive and are not like the steroids used by bodybuilders to build muscle. These medications work by reducing the inflammation or swelling in your lungs. You may still have an asthma attack, even if you are taking a control of medication, but this medicine will help reduce the severity of the attack. The most common side effect you may see with this medication is thrush, or sores and white patches you may get inside your mouth. But it's usually easy to prevent thrush by brushing your teeth or rinsing your mouth out with water after you take your controller medication. So that's some information about controller medications. The other type of medications that are available are called rescue medications. The two most common ones are albuterol and zopinex. These are only used when your symptoms are occurring, like coughing, wheezing, or feeling short of breath. These medications work by helping loosen the muscles so you can breathe easier. You should begin to have less trouble breathing within 15 minutes of taking your rescue medication. You should always keep your rescue medication with you wherever you go in case you have problems with your asthma. If you find yourself needing to use one or more MDIs a month, of your rescue medication, this probably means your asthma is not well controlled and you need to talk to your doctor or nurse so your asthma action care plan can be changed. The common side effect of these medications include headache, tremors, and fast heartbeat. The best way to reduce the side effects from both controller and rescue medications is to always use your spacer. The next section of this program has detailed instructions on how to use the medications properly. Watch it as many times as you need to until you become confident about the correct way to use your medicine. This is very important to make your treatment as effective as possible and to keep you safe.